I'm just gonna be throwing a spinner out today on my little trout rod. I'm gonna be throwing a little tiny rooster tail silver spinner and uh, that's usually one of my favorite lures to use for these trout. And this is my first spot I'm hitting right here. And it is a, a deep pool along the stretch of river. This is, or it's actually more like a stream, but for whatever reason, this little area here got, got hollowed out and deepened by the, by the flow of the current. And just most of the trout in this little creek here, stream, come into this big giant pool here in front of me. And now these are all naturally and native reproducing trout. So, you know, they're very spooky. They're not gonna be too big either. They're gonna be, you know, anywhere from three, four inches to up to like 10, 12 inches. But occasionally you do get fish into like the 16, 17 inch range. I'm gonna throw this spinner down there, this little rooster tail spinner and see if anybody's home. There's always usually a few trout here. I just saw a trout follow it over here. I just saw a trout. He was, uh, you know, maybe around six, seven inches, but uh, my first cast was a little crummy. So I'm gonna get it out there into that open water a little more. Bunch of brook trout around. Oh, they're hitting it. I might have to switch to a little bead head or something. Something a little smaller than this spinner. Oh, there was a good one. Just had a good bite. I set the hook up on him and you know, the spinner flew out of the water and went in the tree. Good thing I got it out. There's a little overhanging rock down there. Oh, oh there was a good one. Oh, I'm in the tree now. There was one about 10 inches, a 10 inch brook trout just came out, tried to hit it. I'm in the tree and I'm trying not to spook these fish because when you're in the tree you can easily spook these trout. You know, you're shaking the trees and then you know you have to pull the tree down to try and get your lure out of the tree. really wrapped around that tree a lot. Okay, I don't think I spooked the fish yet. That one bigger trout that I just missed, he came out from underneath the bridge and whacked it. So I'm gonna crouch down a little bit better here so I can see when he comes out. I'm gonna get this trout. There, he's got him. There, he's got him. Got him, nice pretty, nice brook trout. Whew. I knew I would get him. He missed it the first time, but I retaliated got him. What a pretty, beautiful northern New Jersey brook trout. What a gorgeous fish. That's a, that's a native little New Jersey brook trout, baby. Woo! I'm gonna get a cool picture, get a nice release on this guy. Oh, there he 
there he goes. He took off right away. Whew, let's catch some more. Okay, now I'm coming down a little bit closer to this big pool of water. I'm, I might go down the river a little bit and fish another big pool, but at first I'm going to take a cast up this tunnel here, or up under this bridge, and see if, I, see if there's any fish under here. Oh, there's another trout right underneath here. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. He just sees the spinner. There he is, got him. Woo! That was easy. I can't believe he didn't see me. He just saw the spinner. That's all this little guy saw. He's a feisty little guy. It's pretty rainbow trout, uh, pretty brook trout rather. I can't believe I just said rainbow. <laughs> How gorgeous that fish is. Look at those colors. Brook trout are definitely one of my favorite trout to catch. This is a native native fish to New Jersey. They naturally reproduce in this little stream here. Hopefully later today I'll be able to get into some browns and rainbows because the next two spots I'm going to have some naturally reproducing browns and naturally reproducing rainbows in, in the river as well. Got my rod here stuck in the sticker bushes. I really hate sticker bushes. I don't even understand what the point of them, their existence is. Now I was just jigging this spinner under this little overhanging concrete bank here. There's, um, this used to be part of the spillway, you know, where the, ra the rainwater spills off of the, the road and comes down into the creek here. But, um, you know, obviously, at, you know, after many years of wear and tear, it's starting to fall apart. And uh, the, the river here is undercut and has undercut this little lip here, and it creates some awesome trout habitat. And that trout was just right underneath this concrete lip. I was going to cast underneath the tunnel, but I decided to, you know, try under this lip real quick. But I'm going to cast underneath this bridge or in this tunnel here, see if there's any trout up here. Alright guys, so most of the fish that are in this pool are pretty spooked. You know, I caught two of the larger fish that were in this pool. So uh, I'm going to leave and head down a little bit down this river to the next deepest pool and see if I can catch a few trout out of there. And maybe by the time I come back up, these fish will be willing to feed. There's actually a whole school of brook trout right here in front of me. There must be, there must be 30, 40 fish right here in front of me. Bush. Take that and take that. Haha. <laughs> oh, there's still more here. Okay, finally I'm out. I'm out of the I'm out of the sticker bushes. Alright guys, well I'm gonna go move down river and hopefully uh, connect with some bigger fish. You know the farther you move down river, the uh, the bigger the trout seem to get, and as well as the, there are rainbows and browns more downriver than there are upriver. More upriver on this particular stream, there um, are a lot of uh, brook trout. And then as well, after I'm done fishing downriver, I'm going to hit up uh, another small stream and hopefully catch some big browns because there's some naturally reproducing big browns in this last uh, stream that I'm going to fish at. Okay, I'll, I'll patten down, let's hit the road. All right guys, I moved about a quarter mile down river and uh, hopefully I can get into some bigger trout. There's usually always a few fish underneath this bridge here. Oh, bad first cast. There we go. 
Oh! Just had a good brown come out of the sp out underneath the bridge, trying to hit the spinner. Oh! Usually your casts have to be on, like really on point to catch fish in these little rivers. There we go. Alright guys, I came down river a little bit more from where I just saw and missed that last fish under that bridge with the white railing. This is another big pool here, a key location. There should be a big trout in here. Oh, come on. I know there's a big girl in here, big brown. I'm seeing a lot of trout scooting around in here. There's definitely fish in here. A lot of this area has changed since I've last fished it. This whole entire circular area used to be a giant pool filled with water. Even up, it used to be two feet high above, like along that birdhouse there in the center there. But it all got filled in with uh, sediment and dirt. There's definitely going to be a trout in here. It looks too good and deep not for there to be a nice brown sitting in here. Come on, where's a brownie? Come on, brown. Oh, there was a fish. Oh, you hit it. It's maybe around 10 inches or so. Hopefully I'll get him to hit it again. I'm running out of daylight, so I don't have much time to waste. I really gotta find fish that are willing to feed, and I, and then if they're not gonna feed, then I gotta move on and find more fish. All right, well, I'm pulling up on one of my other favorite spots on this little stream here, and this particular spot you can catch, or I have caught nice rainbow trout, naturally reproducing rainbows, naturally reproducing brooks and browns out of this big pool right here. There's a big, huge tree that's Going across of it, this is a really good spot. All right, let's see who's home. There he is. Oh, nice brown, nice brown trout. Just hanging it in that, that white water. What a pretty fish. That's, that's why you come down river, guys, right there. I've caught them bigger down here, but remember to wet your hands a little bit, always when you're handling a nice trout. Woo! What a gorgeous, naturally reproducing brown trout here out of northern New Jersey. Woo! Right on the end of the jaw there, on that little silver rooster tail spinner. Woo! Yeah, there's a lot of streams in New Jersey that guys unknowingly don't know that there are native or naturally reproducing trout in. You just gotta take, you know, the time out and find uh, find the right place. I found this river when I was about six or seven years old fishing with my dad and I got lucky it was within biking distance from my house I was able to catch nice uh, broken brown trout like this all the time there he goes all right guys well I just got to my other spot here and uh, you know I'm running out of daylight but I still think I can salvage with the little time that I have this is the a little river that I want to fish. There's always a big fish in this pool here, or at least one that's hungry. Oh, there was a bite. Oh boy. That fish hit it like a ton of bricks. Some roots right across on that side of the river. Usually Usually the trout love to hide under the roots. Oh! I just had a big swipe from a nice big brown trout. Really good one. Probably at least 15 inches. Now you guys might be thinking, oh, a 15 inch brown trout's small, but when you're fishing in a little creek or a little stream like this, that's a, oh! There he was. They hit so fast, I just missed the nice one. There he is, got him. Oh, I just got that one. 
What's also, also what's something cool about these brown trout is they're a little bit different compared to the other trout from the other stream. They've got bigger red dots and less dots than the other fish out of the other river, out of the first river I fished. That is a gorgeous, very gorgeous brown trout though. There he goes. All right, let's catch some more before I lose, uh, I lose the daylight. All right, I'm losing the light, I'm trying to catch one more fish. There he is, fish on. There we go. Nice, healthy brown trout. He just has a nice yellow belly. I love that. This might be the last fish of the day. Get him back in the water. Oh. 